the Google Local Business Directory, and how it can help your business. You may not have never heard of the terminology Google Local Business Directory, or actually what it's called now, Google Places, but chances are you've seen it uh, tons and tons of times. Essentially, when you go to the search engines, let's just go ahead and pick a city, say Chicago restaurants, that you're looking for a, a restaurant in Chicago. You know, again, if you're looking for a restaurant in your area, you know, most people are going to go to a place like Google to find it. The local business results are what appear right here and as you can see it's front and center it's the first thing that people see and and I can tell you most people are going to be drawn this way to look here so obviously getting listed in this business directory is really really important now some good news and bad news about that the good news is that uh, getting listed in this directory is actually pretty easy you just uh, go in here fill some information out however the thing is to place well you're going to need uh, multiple things to fall into place to be able to get exposure here uh, especially you know here we're looking at something like uh, restaurants it's very competitive you can see here all these businesses here um, you know, are getting a lot of traffic from getting this type of exposure. So, what all goes into getting a high listed, a high ranking listing here? Well, actually, several things. One is you're going to need a lot of reviews. You can see here that looking down the list, 105 reviews, 160 reviews. Uh, don't let that scare you. Um, Chicago's a big place. Perhaps your restaurant isn't located, or a business, whatever you have, isn't located in such a high profile place. You can see if we switch to a smaller city that the number of reviews go down quite a bit. But still, uh, you can see here the, the result is quite clear. You, you need good reviews to be in there. So there's actually a lot of different things that go into getting a listing to the top here, and that's a specialty thing that a service uh, like mine provides. Uh, just to give you an example of things that you need, uh, obviously this listing needs to be optimized. There are certain things that need to be in here that uh, I'm not, not going to say right now, you know, of course you have to go with the service to really find out what they are, but the point is that uh, it's it's things that just a normally a person isn't going to know to put in. Uh, things need to be researched, like the keywords that people are going to be using to arrive at these places, the things that you want this listing to be triggered at, uh, things like reviews. Of course, reviews need to come from multiple places. If you look through the reviews here, you can see that... Uh, these are from urbanspoon.com, but there's actually multiple places. A city voter, and and actually, depending on the area you are, also means what uh, reviews will be relevant as well. So uh, a good local optimization campaign consists of coming in, taking a look at your business, and then you know determining okay you need some reviews and then reviews need to be from here or from there and then helping you along with that also you know of course you want to have pictures but you'll need to have um, citations also a citation is essentially when your business is listed in another directory because just being in this directory isn't enough the search engines need to see you appearing elsewhere as well and like anything else not every directory is equal so what you need to do is you need to be appearing in the best listings so when all these things come together the result is an optimized listing that appears here so for example you know Harrisburg restaurants is, is something that a lot of people type in Harrisburg restaurant dropping the s off actually it didn't uh, didn't trigger the results that time usually it does let's try Harrisburg PA restaurant okay there we go and as you can see here these listings changed just a little bit because you know, some people have optimized for one thing some have optimized for another which is why it's so important to sit down and take a look at the traffic that's out there and determine what exactly you want to optimize this listing for so you can make the most of the traffic that you get so again the Google business listing Google places very very popular very powerful but it does need to be handled in the right way and it is a bit complex which is why I strongly suggest that you get out there and have someone help you with this because the benefits can be incredible.